Whoops. Okay, today we have divorced singles try and find love on the button. Oh boy, this should be good. <laughs> Doesn't that mean they've tried and failed before? <laughs> no, I'm kidding, that's mean. Shout out to all my divorced people out there. It's not your fault. Or maybe it was. Who knows? I don't know you. I don't know your relationship, so it's tough for me to say. Could be your fault. Could be their fault. Anyways, let's watch these people try to find love. <laughs> <laughs> Why did I say it like that? <laughs> Anyways, let's watch these people try to find love. <laughs> well, no, that's gonna go. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. You are not your divorce, all right? Believe that! I'm Fatia. I am Chris. Chris, nice How to meet you? you. I'm good, I'm love the watermelon. Oh, thank you so much. So, Chris. I love the watermelons. What if he said that to her? Changes things a little bit, doesn't it? I'm not doing like a double standard thing where I'm like, Fuck you. Well, you could say that, but like, imagine if a guy said that. No, I'm just saying, I'm just saying it's a funny thought. That's all I'm saying. It would be inappropriate for him to say that. That's why it's a funny thought. Or if he was just like, you too. <laughs> and she was like, yeah, what? wait. <laughs> I love the watermelons. Thank you, Me, uh, you too. Anyways, what do you do for fun? Do you eat oatmeal? Yes, I do. You do? Mm -hmm. How often? I don't know, maybe three times a week. That's an uh, icebreaker. My guy friends told me, um, guys that eat oatmeal eat kitty cat. Oh, whoa, whoa, okay. Getting right down to it. Wow, wow, I bet even the button was surprised by that. The button's like, wait, what the fuck did you just say? <laughs> this is my job, what are you doing? His face, he's trying to put it together. He's trying to like decipher whether or not he actually heard what he just heard. Or he's just thinking, kitty cat, what the fuck does that mean? You mean guys that eat oatmeal eat pussy? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's true for me. So. It's true for you. Yes. Okay. I mean, that's what I was been told. So, you know, I'm trying to <laughs> go off of that, you know, that sexual chemistry. Oh, I, I, I like my oatmeal pussy flavored, actually. In fact. <laughs> yeah, that's, um, you know, so I'm just walking proof that that's true. I've always heard that guys that eat pussy like eating oatmeal. That's what I've always heard. So that's usually my icebreaker. That's how I find out if they like oatmeal, if they're oatmeal eaters or not. What are your thoughts on eating pussy, by the way? Oh, good. Well, then I will be having breakfast with you next week. I feel you on that one. <laughs> so. What do you eat? <laughs> um, I love chicken tenders. <laughs> You know what they say about girls who eat chicken tenders? You know what they say? That they love oatmeal. Chicken nuggets or chicken tenders? Because tenders are like longer chicken nuggets. I mean, I feel like he's trying to imply the joke I just made, which is a little bit, I didn't like the way he said that, you know? It's, you, you might as well just come out and say, he's like longer. So, uh, yeah. I know a lot of people who like chicken tenders. All right, so why'd you push it on me? Um, you're just not my type. I'm sorry. That's it was right. really nice to Thank meet you. Thank you, you as well. <laughs> what if she's like, I don't like getting my pussy eaten, actually. <laughs> you failed the oatmeal question, sorry. Not a fan of cunnilingus at all, actually. Thank you, Chris. Thank you. I'm not gonna use the oatmeal on the next guy now. Oh, you have to. Hi. Hi. I'm Fatia. Oh, you have to. Please do it. Please, I need to see it again. Say the word pussy, please. <laughs> nice to meet you. Do you two eat oatmeal? Oatmeal? Yeah, oatmeal. I mean, sometimes. Do you? Do you, Button? I eat a lot of oatmeal. <laughs> I mean... Sick. I eat a lot of robot pussy. I eat a lot of oatmeal. <laughs> Creepy button ASMR. I mean, don't do a reason to eat a whole lot of oatmeal when there's other things. Tell him the joke! I don't like that he's not in on this joke. You, you, can't, you guys can't just team up on somebody. Would you tell him why you want to know if he eats oatmeal? Uh, my guy friends told me that guys that like to eat oatmeal. Eat a lot of pussy. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. That was the button. I'm picturing the button doing that. To go down on girls. There's, okay, <clears throat> if, if you really want to know if a guy is going to go down on you. Do you drink, by the way? I do. Okay. Yeah. So I'll be doing jello shots. Most people will do jello shots. They'll just take it and they'll squeeze it and no. Nah, I, you got to lick it. Take my tongue. 
lick it through, and when it comes out, it should be completely clean. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. That was just, that was funny. That's probably why I'm laughing. You all right, Button? Completely clean. Completely clean. That would require you to eat out the cup. Like, not even just one little swirl. Like, to, for it to be completely clean, it's like, I'd be like, <laughs> multiple different rotations. Once the jello is out of the cup, it's over. Unless you're trying to prove to someone that you do indeed eat bush. Sorry. <laughs> eat bush. Now I'm just picturing someone eating pubes. <laughs> Feeling a little, a little sparky. So how many long-term relationships have you been in total in your life? Uh, Probably like four or five. Okay. I've been in two long-term relationships. Which one was your marriage? Uh, the longest term relationship. How long was that? That was uh, 15 years. 15. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and for what? I think you're just a little um, too old. Okay. Yeah, I feel like we had a really good conversation though. I feel like we did too. Good luck. Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was nice. Sort of old. It's a little bit ageist. <laughs> We're gonna send in somebody younger. Okay. I have Fatia. Oh, my moose. Moose. Yeah. Hey. What do you like to do for fun? Um, I'm a huge nerd. Ooh, what okay. kind of nerd though? I love League of Legends. League of Legends. I okay. go to work, I come home, I make my kids some food, and I league it up. Okay. I'm okay. very much a homebody. I'm not somebody that you would take hiking. Yeah. <laughs> Ouch. You probably rejected me because I was going to reject you. Yeah. Why were you going to reject Moose? Yeah, yeah, you didn't want to reject me. You didn't want to. You just probably were going to do it because I was going to reject you, right? Yeah. Damn, that was some mind games that she just played right there. That was some, like, she just got him to agree to that. And then after, he's probably like, well, wait, no, I, no, no, I didn't want to date you. You can't fire me. I quit. I'm a nerd. You're a nerd. I'm a nerd. I'm out of your league. Of legends. I was just hoping that, like, when we connected on, like, the nerd vibe, mm. that you knew what League of Legends was. Oh, I, I do. Oh, okay. I was yeah. hoping that. Oh, fuck. Let me just. 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 Oh, fuck. If only you liked League of Legends. I, I haven't played it before. Oh, goodness. What about oatmeal, though? Hi, my name is Moose. Oh, I'm Bree. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yes, yes, it's a childhood nickname after I had my ghost spurt. And a moose was the closest that was? Okay. Yeah, yeah, the way I got it is uh, when I walked in front of the TV, my dad was like, oh, it's like seeing a moose cross the freeway because I covered the entire TV. And my mom was like, I like that. Cute, that's, really cool. that's cute. So uh, on a Friday night, what are you doing? It's summer right now, mm -hmm. so like I like to be at the range, golf the, range. Oh, I thought I thought you meant like gun range. Oh yeah. Uh, uh, mm. uh, how far can you drive a ball? It depends on how much liquor I've had. Uh -oh. <laughs> so you get drunk and you hit ball. Ah! That sounds awesome. That sounds awesome. Oh, I might go fucking do that tonight. It sounds awesome. Absolutely, absolutely. I'm not going out there unless there is liquor. Moose was a butt tender for four years. <laughs> I think the button knows that I took a smoke break <laughs> earlier today. <laughs> Bree, are you back with us fully? I mean, I smoke a lot of weed, so there's always a little bit of haze. <laughs> I love weed. I'm actually diagnosed with bipolar disorder. Mm. Uh, so anything to calm my mind when I'm uh, going through my manic episodes, it helps. Yeah. Yeah. That's a tough one. That's a tough one. It's tough to see someone open up like that and just get rejected because of it. It's always tough to see. Why? I have ADHD. Uh -huh. like fairly bad. Mm -hmm. I don't know how your mania and my mania okay. would mesh. Because I can be very, like, oh. manic sometimes. Good. Good save. Good save. Not to say it's not, it's could, that could be true.
you know? But I feel like that was, you let him down nicely. I get that. Yeah. Thank you, miss. You're welcome. I should have finished my mimosa. Hi, my name is Aro. Bree. Nice to meet you. How old are you? That was quick, dang, I'm 35. I mean, we ain't got all day. <laughs> How old are you? 28. 28? Yeah. Okay. Do you have any children? I do have children. I have uh, twins and I have two from a prior marriage. Oh, wow. Yeah. How about you, you have any kids? I do. Okay. Yeah, would you ever have any more children? I do want some more, because uh, right now their mom actually lives in Minnesota. Oh, wow. So it's rare that I get to see them, and that's yeah. the main thing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> R01. Why did you press it? Um, I just didn't feel like you were vibing. Yeah. I said that and you just weren't, you just weren't vibing with it. Uh, I just didn't want more kids. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Ray. Sorry. I feel bad now. Why? I'm not a person that does well with rejection and... Yeah, so then why would you come on the show? <laughs> Seems like if there's one thing you should be good at, it's that. If you're gonna come on the show. I just had to reject somebody, so I kind of feel bad. How's it going? Oh. How you doing? I'm Megan. Aro, nice to meet nice you. Nice to meet you. So what's your favorite snack? Favorite snack? I have a four peas, Peachios, okay. popcorn, Pepsi, and pickles. Okay. Gotta eat them all together. Okay, all together? <laughs> What's your favorite snack then? Since that was really mm. judgmental on my <laughs> Prob No wonder you're divorced. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> Damn, I don't know why I just thought that was like the meanest thing I possibly could have said there. Fucking popcorn pickles and Pepsi, Pepsi? Yeah, no wonder. No, I'm kidding. I actually like all those, all three of those things. Not together though. That's weird. Yeah, I'd, I'd probably divorce you, yeah. Probably hot Cheetos. Oh, hot, Cheetos. hot Cheetos. Yeah. Get the red fingertips. No, I use. Uh, <laughs> you, you got those little. I use chopsticks. Things. Okay, look at you being clean. <laughs> it's not that I don't like getting my hands dirty. It's just I just like using chopsticks. So. Megan, how do you feel about dating men with kids? I'm not gonna have any kids. So, mm. are you, do you have kids? I do have kids. Okay. I have twins. Yeah. Sorry. <laughs> Why don't you want kids? Cause I'm already 40 years old. I probably can't even have them at this point. So, that's the biggest reason. Understandable. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you too. Oh. Hi there, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too. Uh, what do you do for work? I am a coordinator for window and door installation. So basically, I'm a grown man babysitter. <laughs> I just boss grown men around to make sure they're where they're supposed to be. What about you? Um, I'm a supervisor at a sawmill. Are you uh, good with- I'm in fashion. <laughs> That could not have been more opposite. That's awesome. I, I actually like how they've been changing it up recently because you do get like different answers like that. Of like a coordinator for a bathroom door install? What did she even say? I am a coordinator for window and door installation. Coordinator for a window and door installation. Um, I'm a supervisor at a sawmill. And he's a supervisor at a sawmill. That's awesome. Yeah, I'm into fashion. Do fashion. I mostly design fashion. I'm a supervisor at a sawmill. Are you uh, good with your hands, gentlemen? <laughs> I'm very good with my hands. <laughs> what kind of things are you into? I'll be honest, I'm fairly lame. I spend a lot of time with my dog. What kind of dog do you have? He's just a scruffy terrier mutt. Okay. I think he's pretty sweet. Yeah, that's I'm okay. sorry. <laughs> Why did you- Later, dog. See ya, dog. Pardon me. Just not my type. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Have a good What's one. It's <laughs> so weird and nice and respectful. Okay. Well, okay. Yeah. No worries. Can't be everyone's type. So no worries. Bye. Yeah, good. Okay. Bye. Thank you. I don't know. <laughs> we just weren't clicking. Tell me when he's gone. He's gone. What's your type? I don't know. Just not the hat. That's fair. That's 100% fair. Totally fair. You'd think someone, someone along the way in every guy's life that wears one of those hats would be like, yo, what's up with the hat? What, who told you that was, they did? They're lying. Sorry, you know? <laughs> what attracts you? Honestly, I don't know. It's like porn. You like can't describe it. You just know it when you see it. Do you watch porn? I do. What do you like? I watch oatmeal eating mukbangs on YouTube because of the implication. Wait, hey, how you doing? What oh, did I just walk hey, in on? Hold on. I'm Megan. Hi, Megan. I'm Michael. <laughs> nice to nice meet, you. meet you. So do you watch porn? Is that what she asked? <laughs> that was awesome. <laughs> No bullshit, I love it. This is off to a great start. Uh, what, Naz? Watch, watch porn. I mean, usually, honestly, it's a little girl on girl sometimes. Okay. 
can't really watch Girl on Girl. You don't like it? Not, not for me. You got to feel I mean, like you're in it. Ex exactly. I have to watch, if I'm gonna watch porn, I have to watch something that yeah, I can that feel makes, like I'm a part of. That makes sense. Yeah, it's, That's it's, why I like Girl on Girl, because guys in the porn, they're usually like, you're doing too much. Yeah, 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 yeah. So what, what would you say was like the worst thing that happened to you on a date? On a date? Wait, I don't think that I've ever had like... When I watch porn, I need to see a dick going into the oatmeal. I need to see that. I can't just have a oat bowl of oatmeal. Doesn't work for me. I need to see the dick into the oatmeal, submerging into the oatmeal. Well, except for one guy that was like, I'm an entrepreneur. Da, 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 I do that. He was unemployed. <laughs> so basically, he was unemployed. He was poor and a liar. But, yeah. Megan has never dated anyone older than her. How old are you, Mike? I am 40. I'm 42. See, perfect. Yeah, you, you, you don't look 40 at all. Older? Neither do you. Yeah, it's a blessing. <laughs> it is. It's a black don't crack. <laughs> you ever dated black men? I have a couple, but mainly I've dated generic white men. <laughs> generic? What is a generic white man? You know, brown hair, light eyes, beard. It's obviously not served. I'm kidding, that's not me, luckily. Yeah, no beard, so I'm not a generic white guy. I'm a standout cool one. <laughs> I'm a cool, unique white guy. Me well. <laughs> All right. So you would be open to branching out in? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's just whoever I have a vibe with. So how long you been single? Uh, well, I've been divorced for like six years. Oh. We were together for seven years, and then we got married. We were married for two, but he cheated on me with his two best friends' wives. So I found out about one. What? Both of them? Oh my God. God, that's some shit you read on, read on Reddit and you're like, that's fake. Wait, whoa, Yeah. I got one up for you. My ex-wife slept with my biological father. <laughs> what is going on? Who are you guys marrying? How do people do that shit? <laughs> no. And two of my homeboys, all in within like six months. <laughs> Oh my God. I'm sorry for what you guys deserve. Every ounce of love in the world. Sorry for every mean thing I've said. No wonder you're divorced. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> and this. That is horrendous. You guys have been through some shit. <laughs> Talk about trauma. Yeah. You two find it hard to trust people now? Sometimes I can be very afraid. I feel like the last person that I... Like, if you're dad and your wife slept together, it'd be like losing two of the closest people in your life. I mean, assuming you're close with them, but holy fuck, that's fucking crazy. Uh, was heavily involved with, I ran away from it, even though I knew that this person was a safe space for me. That's what I say that it's ruined like trust for me, but then I get fucked over again. So obviously I'm giving away the trust. Yeah, but you can't- Too quickly. And, <laughs> and I think it's, once we get older, you kind of like, you can't, you learn that you can't really put everybody in that same category. Yeah, you, can't you gotta give them a chance. And... Yeah, you can't make the next person pay for what the last person did. Yeah. Are you two attract? Really good perspective. I feel like something like that happened to me, I would just, I would, I would just become grumpy. I'd just be a bitter, bitter person. So like, yeah, the world sucks. Can't trust anyone. But that's a really great perspective. I like this guy. Yeah, I say yeah. I just like the 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 good back and forth. Being able to have a conversation is a very yeah. important thing to me. Yeah. So being Not able to have a conversation. <laughs> hey, you're live on the button. Oh, okay, never mind. Why? What's up? I was gonna tell you something funny, but you it's a secret. You said it's a secret? Yeah, you have some schmutz on your lip. What? Oh, for fuck's sake. The whole video. Ah, <laughs> oh, what even is that? It looks like chocolate. Did you have chocolate? I did have. I did have a little chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well I want to show you something. Fuck. I'm in when you're done. Okay. What if I walked in? <laughs> what if I walked in and she was like, "I slept with your dad." <laughs> you think I want to show you something funny? Come in afterwards, and I'm like, "Cool." Just wrapping up this this button video. You won't believe what happened on here. I walk inside. She's like. Yeah, so it's something funny. It's not really that funny, actually. Or you might find it funny. It's kind of funny in the grand scheme of things. I mean, you're probably just, you're just laughing at it inside. So, anyways. No, that's fucked up. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm tired. Too awkward? No, it's not awkward at all. Yeah. It's not awkward at all. And the transparency. You like, I just feel like you're genuinely being you. Yeah. So, yeah, I, I enjoy it. Would you trust each other enough to go on a second date? Yeah. I would. Absolutely. I'm going to go red one more time. Okay. Nobody presses me. I'm gonna consider this a match. Okay. All right, all right. 
see, I've seen this too many times where they <laughs> press it. <laughs> nah. Oh, it's, it's different color. <laughs> what happens if you hit it now? Confetti? Maybe that's like the ejector seat button. Like if you hit it there, both of them just rock it out of the frame. <laughs> oh my god, you two are going on a second date paid for by us. Well, paid for by me. <laughs> Thank you, Baller button. button. Thank you. <laughs> Wow, that was a fun one. I really enjoyed that one, actually. That was a lot of fun. I feel like we learned something today. You can't make the last person, you can't make the next person pay for what the last person did. That's actually fucking deep and insightful. Do with that what you will. Actually take that, that little piece of wisdom right there and hit the like button. Cause you can't make the last video pay for the quality of this one. And this was a quality video. So hit the like button. Right now, do it for me. Thank you so much. All right, goodbye.